um, some thimble berries. This is like the true gems of the the Keweenaw, or Upper Michigan. The best, best. Mm. If you like raspberries, these are even better. They're not as sweet. They have a little bit of a tartness. And they're like, I don't know, they're a little bit spongy. So if you have a problem with like texture, you might not think they're that cool. But the taste is amazing. And thimbleberry jam is gold. tonight. I have a bear pole and then actually unbeknownst to me there's a little toilet which I had no idea about. I'm not sure if they all have toilets or just this one. I'll have to explore that, but yeah, so you can uh, go to the bathroom and look out over this beautiful swampy view. So I was going to set up over here, which is a little bit further from the trail, but there's a dead tree that would definitely fall on me if it cracked in the right way, so I'll show you. So I was going to set up camp over here, so it's away from the trail, more, more private. Not that, I mean, I haven't seen anybody yet since <laughs> I've been down here a couple hours. But there's this this dead one. I just pushed this one over myself. Um, so that actually might give me some nice fat wood. Maybe I can start a fire. You can see the, the sap in there. So maybe I can actually start a fire if I feel like it. But yeah, I just pushed that one over, and then there's this one, which is significantly larger, and could definitely uh, kill me. Here's Lake of the Clouds. I'm at campsite three on Lake Lake of the Clouds right now. And that's the overlook that everyone goes up on. You probably see all the pictures from. This is the lake down underneath that you see a lot of pictures of. Not very good for swimming, but I bet there's fish in here. <laughs> Alright, so I got my tent set up. It's not raining yet. It's about 6 o'clock. Um, I can't tell if it's going to rain some more or not. I am damp. It's super, super humid. Um, so I'm going to get my old sweaty shorts and tank top off and get into some... Um, I think I'm going to put on my like other long sleeve top um, and get this off because I'm st starting to feel chilled even though it's it's warm out. I'm just I'm wet and then I'm gonna uh, think about dinner because I'm also very hungry so I think I'm just gonna cook on my fuel stove. Yeah, so just made a little bit of tea. Mm, I made cinnamon tea. It smells so good. The wind is really picked up um, so I put on my I put on my puffy jacket, and uh, I think it's about 9.30, so I'm going to have my tea and maybe a little, um, little snack, and probably go to, the, go to the bathroom and then go to sleep pretty quick. It's not really looking like it's going to rain anymore, so I think we might be clear, and then uh, tomorrow I don't have to rush out of here, I have about a four mile hike to my next campground and then um, I'll probably set up there and then go do some more hiking just with my day pack and uh, yeah tomorrow should be a pretty easy day as well. So for some reason I just decided to take my tea just a little ways down and walk over out onto the bridge here again and as I turned around and looked in the water there's a little river or stream there. Three river otters were playing in the water. Barely see them, but there they are. <laughs> I 
I'm actually crying because I, I love otters and I've never gotten to see them actually in the wild. I've seen them in the zoo. I've seen, of course, river otters and sea otters and they're the most... Oh, like, <laughs> I love them so much and I've never gotten to see them in the wild. And there's three of them just floating along, just in their little family group and I am so freaking lucky right now. I'm so excited. <laughs> And ha! Look what I did! I was so determined to make a fire even though it downpoured earlier. And I did it! Good morning! I just wanted to kind of show you these birds. I think they're finches. And they are just so happy this morning. You just hear them fluttering around all around my tent. I'm just busy. Wow, did I sleep good last night. I never sleep this good at home. I needed that. I slept hard, <laughs> like a rock. Um, I went to bed finally around 11.30. And I slept straight through until 8. Well, I did wake up at one point and it was sprinkling on the tent. Um, and that was nice, but it didn't last very long, which is fine. That means I don't have to pack up a wet tent. But yeah, woke up at 8 and fell right back to sleep again. And now it's like 9.30, <laughs> which is very unusual for me. Instant coffee. Ah, not bad. Tastes a little bit like my uh, water container mixed with instant coffee. <laughs> and then I have an MCT powder which I mixed in there. MCT creamer, which is a like a coconut oil, um, which is really good for like long sustained energy. And I am officially completely out of water now, so I guess I'm going to have to filter some out of the creek back here. Because um, there's maybe a small creek in between here and the next spot, but I'm not sure if it's going to be dried up or not, so I better get some while I'm here. <laughs> so I'm laughing because as I was sitting here eating my breakfast, you know, the trailer ends right here. Not super close, but all of a sudden this family comes along. <laughs> And the lady stops like right in direct view of like me sitting in my tent and she's like, Good morning! <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I will never, if you ever camp with me, I will never, I promise, never be one of those people that screams good morning in your face. <laughs> it gave me a good laugh, but I just, some people have way too much energy in the morning. <laughs> All right, finally packed up and loaded up. I was able to repack my pack, I think a little bit smarter. It's not much lighter, I didn't eat that much last night, but it feels better. It feels a lot more balanced and more manageable. Um, I think I, I think I got it how I like it. And I'm ready to go. It's about 20 to 12 already. I plan on leaving by 11, but um, I only have like a four mile hike to get to my ne next site and then I plan on doing some exploring so um, shouldn't take too long, a couple hours and uh, it is turning out to be a gorgeous day the sun is out, there's a nice little light breeze so it's like perfect for like tank top and shorts and let's get the show on the road so I've been going for maybe a couple miles super 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 humid seen a few people on the trail, not too many, but I just wanted to show you an example of the trail that I'm on and I'm so glad I did bring these trekking poles. Um, so this is the trail, as you can see there's the blue trail marker there and you got to kind of wind your way through all the roots and things um, and mud. So very muggy and I can imagine how really terrible it would be if the mosquitoes were really bad. They're marginally bad, I mean, just kind of normal. But if this were earlier in the year, this would be complete 
torture going through here in this mucky, muddy uh, area through here because you can't even go fast at all, even if you want to. Somebody left a sunflower. Isn't that pretty? Like, aww. I love that. So, yeah, I guess this is my campsite. It is right on the trail. But I can't imagine too, too many people venturing up that giant hill. <laughs> um, and the river is down there. And, yeah, it's a nice, nice little spot. I can put my tent off away so it's not right on the trail so much. So I'm going to take a break and then um, probably go explore some more without my heavy-ass backpack. <laughs> so I'm an idiot. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. This is not my site. This is North Mirror Lake Site 2 and I'm at Mirror Lake Site 2. So I could see how people could get messed up with that. <laughs> I've only gone like a mile and a half actually so I still have... yeah. <laughs> I still have a while to go yet, so two and a half miles. But either way, it's a nice spot. There's a little bit of a breeze, and I just looked at the map, and it looks like that was the worst, hopefully, part as far as like elevation going up. And it should be a little easier from here on out. So I'll take a little break, and then I'm gonna move on. <laughs> Glad I didn't set up camp. There's a little. Trails through the marshes are always fun. <laughs> Gotta keep your balance though. It's my new little friend. <laughs> Hi buddy. I put an almond there for you. Go eat it. Oh, so pretty. You're making me miss my kitty, although he would eat you. Oh! <laughs> Got an itch. Oops, you passed it up. It's right there. Go get it. Yep. So I made it. I ended up completely passing my sight. There was no markings. There is when you come back the other way, which I discovered. <laughs> so I went about a quarter mile past it, then looked at my GPS and realized I had already passed it so that I had to double back again. So I got about a half an hour or half a mile further than I needed to, but my, I don't know if you can see, like my pack was just absolutely killing me. My shoulders, um, I think my pack is a unisex pack and I'm a, like a narrower framed woman anyway. So yeah, so if I pull my chest strap tighter to pull my straps in more then I it's so tight here I can't take a full breath so I'm kind of screwed either way so so glad to get my pack off um, definitely gonna get a different pack hopefully before the next trip because that one's just not it's heavier it's old it's over 10 years old so it's heavier than most are now and it's I need one that's made for a woman <laughs> strong enough for a man made for a woman <laughs> So this is Mirror Lake number two. This is a little trail down to the water. Uh, hoping, hoping to be able to get into the water and soak my feet. Let's see. Mm. Mm. It's definitely mucky, but I, at this point I don't think I care. I think I'm gonna try swimming. Hopefully there's no blood suckers. Oh, that looks so refreshing. Of minnows. Oh, is that refreshing? <laughs> All right, that was a good swim. I definitely got 
pretty chilly after that though, so now I'm in my long sleeves, long pants, my fancy uh, toe socks with my sandals. Um, I just got my tent set up, so I'll show you what the campsite looks like. So, this is the trail I came in at, and the trail runs right through there to the next campsite. I had somebody comment, boy, they sure run the trails through campsites here, and I was like, yeah, they kind of do. So, I got my tent over there. Obviously, the flattest spot was here, but that's right in the middle of the trail. Um, I hung my little clothesline up there, and... I got the fire pit here. Don't mind my my food bag there. Um, the and I will be throwing that away. I'm not burning that. I just stuck it there for now. The um, chipmunks here are definitely um, kind of tame, and can tell that a lot of people have been feeding them because um, they've been running around a lot. I don't foresee any problems with bears, but more so with like the chipmunks. Um, and then the bear pole, I finally found it, is way down there. I think that's for me, because the other next campsite is pretty far down there. I went and checked it out. And then I randomly discovered that there is like a pit toilet or whatever. I started going that way, and then there was a sign that sh with a little half moon and an arrow, which seems to be the um, universal outhouse sign. <laughs> and so I followed it where one was like an old one was like knocked over and buried um, and then I happened to go a little bit further and there's a random like just toilet uh, somewhere way over there so that's kind of nice I wasn't expecting those um, but and yeah it's just it's just weird to be like sitting in the middle of the woods like on a toilet <laughs> I thought maybe I would set up camp and then head towards Summit Peak um, but looking at the map, it's, I mean, it's going to be another, like, there and back, I'm guessing would be four to five miles, and, I mean, I wouldn't take my pack with me, but, um, I don't think it's anything super significant that I would want to see anyway. I think it's just, like, basically at, like, a tall point with an observation tower, so I've decided tomorrow, since I have, like, a 13, 12, 13 mile hike tomorrow, um, I'm just going to take this short day and kind of relax and then leave early tomorrow morning. Forgot, forgot to tell you when I was swimming earlier, there was tons and tons of minnows and they were just nibbling at my toes. There had to be 20 or 30 of them. Isn't there like some sort of spa experience or something where you could like pay like huge amounts of money for like fish to nibble at your toes and like eat all your dead skin off your feet or something? <laughs> so it's such a weird feeling. I don't know. I don't think I would pay for the feeling, but I don't know. It was kind of fun. They were just probably about this big. Some of them were a little bit bigger. I bet the fishing's really good in this in this place. It's my first time trying the beef stroganoff with noodles. Um, the lasagna I like a lot, um, but. delicious. So the beef is still a little bit crunchy, but the flavor of this is really good. I love beef stroganoff. Um, there's supposed to be real mushrooms in here too. Oh, there is. Let me try a mushroom. This does taste pretty good. I think part of the problem is that I am never patient enough to wait the full minutes. Um, also, I don't use my timer. I just sort of 
assume it's been five minutes and then four minutes so probably the meat would actually get the right consistency if I actually waited the proper amount of time but I'm usually just too impatient <laughs> also both of my the lasagna and the beef stroganoff they both say two servings the lasagna I definitely eat all by myself like no problem um this beef stroganoff I feel like there's more to it like more noodles so I'm not sure if I'm gonna eat the whole thing this also has more calories I think the lasagna was like 400 and something calories this one's 560 for like the whole thing but I could use the calories <laughs> look at this huge tree right here isn't that amazing? I don't know if you can tell how huge it is, or it was. All of these trees are so cool. <laughs> well, it's only about 8 o'clock, but I'm, uh, already pretty tired. It's definitely chillier tonight. I if I haven't seen the forecast since I started because I haven't had service, but if I remember right, tonight's supposed to be a little bit of a colder night than any of the others, so I'll probably bundle up tonight and I think I'm just going to kind of warm up by the fire and then as soon as it kind of dies down, I'm just going to get in my tent and slowly get ready for bed, maybe do a little writing. I don't know, but it takes me a while to take up my contacts and um, I want to start early tomorrow, so I'm going to try to be ready to go as much as I can. I mean, the tent's the last thing to go onto my pack, so I'm going to try to pack everything I can. Maybe not even have a hot breakfast tomorrow. I might just have a breakfast bar and then get going. We'll see how I feel in the morning. I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> But it's crazy to me how loud people are. I'm used to just hiking quietly. Can you hear the person at the next campsite? He's singing Amazing Grace. Loudly. <laughs> like it's not, he's got a good voice, but I just, I don't know. <laughs> it's not something I think about doing when I'm camping. And then I think some people just came in at the, the campsite next to me, which is up on a hill. And there's obviously a whole group of them. And they're, they're talking loudly and laughing. They're not being obnoxious. But they're just I'm just not a big, loud person. So I just... I'm, and then everybody in groups that's walking on the trail, which is just across from here, they're all just... I feel like they're just yelling to each other. It's just... It's so weird. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. Good night. See you tomorrow.